ever thought to yourself, I want to become a racing driver, but you're looking to do it on a budget? Ever wondered how you can take this and perhaps turn it into this? I'm Andy, and this is Addy TT Train Car on a Budget. I'm sure many of you out there have thought about doing this, so I thought I'd look into the background of one such particular car that has undertaken this journey and is currently competing in a cup series here in the UK. After a weekend of watching cars race round and round the Nürburgring, I thought this would be an interesting project to undertake. If you've not already seen my video on the weekend at the Nürburgring vlog, then please do check out the video link above. The car in question started life as a standard 225 road car, but as you can see, it has undertaken some radical changes. And worth pointing out, all of this has been done on a limited budget. Bucket seats from Facebook Marketplace. Parts from eBay. It sounds like grabbing a bargain at the right time and trawling through Facebook Marketplace seems to be the key on keeping prices down. The owner Lee did not want to be featured on camera, but he gave me a full walk around of the car, explaining all of the features, and he even let me take it for a spin down the road, because this TT track car is also MOT'd and road legal. Right, let's take a closer look at Lee's car. Hi all, Andy here and welcome back to the channel where today I'm taking a look at Lee's fantastic track car. This car is stage two for the track, pushing about 300 brakes. All the usual features are here you'd expect on a track car, such as towing straps front and back, emergency engine cutoff switches labelled and visible to the outside to aid the track marshals, slick tyres to give extra grip on the road and quick release bonnet catches. Externally, it still retains a lot of its original features, such as the factory spoiler, not forgetting the look-alike nine-spoke alloys, although they have been refinished in high-vis yellow. There's an additional front-mount intercooler, and the quick-release bumper was my personal favourite mod. So here's the bit you guys all want to see, and that's inside. So what we got going on here, look. Taking a closer look at the interior of this car instantly tells you this is no everyday driver. The boost gauge in the air vent is common on many TT road cars, but maybe not the iPad dashboard the OMP detachable racing steering wheel and the large boss that gives you a very upright and full feedback experience when driving. All the comfort and sound suppression of carpets, door liners and any interior trim is gone, saving weight and removing unnecessary clutter. Lee had raised the gear stick and linkage to a much higher position in the cockpit. I like the touch of retaining the original TT gear knob too. The cage on which it sat was a custom part that he had fabricated himself. Even the cage is a reused part where Lee had the rear part for a few years and then had the front tubes fabricated and bent to shape and then welded them together himself to make it all fit. So what have we got switch wise then? Right, so that one's the ECU. Yeah. The middle one is for the dash. Yeah. And then that's your emergency cut off. Right, okay, emergency cut off there. This one? That's a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher and that's what you've got down here, is it? So this yeah. Brand new one all done. So again, is that something that you'd have to have for a race and you have yeah. to have that, yeah? Have have that okay, you've got two batteries. Yeah, I use the main one just obviously to move about, yeah. go home, and then I'll that's your racing back battery. Back okay. So all the pedals, standard pedals, yeah. as you expect from a TT. It's quite strange to look at because as you look, you can see everything's like a standard TT, so you've got yeah. a lot of the, the lights and stuff and the that's and the original fittings. <laughs> So this is me sitting in Lee's car. I'm a bit of a bigger guy and I'm getting serious cramps in my hips than in this. I'm just gonna take it down the road. Totally new experience for me sitting in a race car, I have to say. It's just a case of plugging in the steering wheel, off we go. I've got literally no vision in this car. Oh, this is weird. Little tiny steering wheel. Oh, you can hear that boost. Yeah. Wow, I can't really say how noisy this is compared to what I cast a normal car. You can't make out what I'm saying here due to the road noise and it is loud. It makes you realise what a great job the interior panels, sound deadening and carpets make to your capping experience when driving these cars on the road. Here in that turbo, so this is a stage 2 car. 
you heard me right, a stage two car, got a massive front mount intercoolers, trying to be uber careful. I think Lee's very brave to uh, trust me to drive this. Well, yeah, you can hear that turbo dump. Ooh. Let's have a look around this car with Lee. Right, here's the fun bit. Oh, happy my glass is gone. Getting out proves as difficult as getting in. <laughs> So bonnet release, that's a much easier way of getting the bonnet open. A great little addition and only £15 from eBay. So that's where the magic happens. Okay, so it's just a standard air filter you've got on there, you've had it on? Yeah, stainless steel tip. Is that a catch can you've had fitted in there as well? Yeah, yeah. it's only a little cheap eBay one. Nice, right. there one here in the garage. It's a very honest looking engine, isn't it? It's probably the best way to describe it. Leak, oh, is it? Yeah, it still is. I haven't fixed it yet. But I notice you've got a front mount intercooler down there. Yeah, so, um, so it's two and a half inch at the top. Yeah. But the bottom half is four inch. Oh, okay. So you get a lot more cold air through the main yeah. pass through. The top bit's a bit thinner. How many hours have you spent in the wheel arches of your car unbolting the front bumper mounts? Not a problem on this car. Wow, so that's just literally cable tied on that bonnet, that bumper yeah, is the it? I left them out in the sun and they melted. The bumper is secured either side with rubber o-rings around these fixings and two screws at the top. So that's an interesting mod then for that car that your your bumper is all attached by a couple of screws at the top and the front. There's, there's no fiddling around in the wheel arches on this one then. You haven't got time to mess around. No, I can, I can imagine that. So if you need to get the front off, it's got to come off quick. So getting that back on, how quick does that take to get back on? If we lift it, slide it. True race car mod. Back on, so literally 30 seconds and you're back in the game. If you start adding up the base price of a car at say £1,500 and around the same again spent on parts to convert this TT into a track ready racer, you can see for around a £3,000 budget you can set yourself up with a basic racing package. Race weekend entrance fees tend to range from about £350 up to £500 depending on the track you are racing at in this class. So it still has some costs involved in it once you have the car ready for the track. However, you can see the amount of fun this brings and it also makes a very accessible level of racing available to the masses that would like to give it a go. Wow, Lee's track car is something else. Sounds great, looks great, smells great. It's just a thoroughbred racer in a TT body. So as Lee puts the car away, I mean, wow, what a crazy car that is. It's amazing. And it is a track car and I've got to drive it, which is even more amazing. Believe it or not, despite the oversized rear wing, the boot still opens and is accessible. Oh, there you go, yeah. So let's have a look at it from the uh, the back view now. There's some extra weight in this car, in this tail, because of the uh, extra spoiler. So I can imagine those original shocks don't hold it up. Viewing the interior from the rear gives a good look at the full cage and its mounting or welding points on the body. Lee, thanks so much for taking the time to show a complete amateur like myself around your great track car. It gives everyone watching this an idea what can be achieved on a budget with an Audi TT. Maybe this has inspired you to undertake your own TT track car project. If you already have, or maybe you're thinking about doing so, why don't you leave me a comment below? 
If you've enjoyed today's video, then please do think about giving this video a thumbs up and also think about subscribing to my channel where you'll find a whole host of content on the ADTT Mark 1. As always, thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care.